Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Mohammad Ibrahim Zari and I'm doing my thesis in Electrical Machine Laboratory of this school. And my thesis is about the new predictive direct power control system for double feed induction generators. Uh, so the double feed induction generators are consist of the two power electronic converters. The, one of them is the grid side converter, which the uh, duty is to maintain the DC link voltage and to inject or absorb right to power from the grid. And the other one is the rotor side converter, which control the electrical machines and also inject uh, active and reactive power to the grid. So these two converters traditionally are controlled with the vector control and direct power control. But the vector control and direct power control, both of them, uh, they, are, they have uh, disadvantages. The vector control is the, has a fixed switching frequency, allow uh, total harmonic distortion currents, and um, it seems to be uh, working very well. But the dynamic performance is very slow. And moreover, it needs to the, tune the PI controllers. And in the weak grids, uh, the performance are not so good. But uh, direct power control has a very fast dynamic response. But the switching frequency is variable, and the ripple of the power and uh, power are great. So recently, the researchers have been proposed new controllers such as predictive control systems. This control, predictive control, predict the voltage vector sequences for the next vector, for the next switching uh, period. But they also have some problems because they cannot they, they use the position of the rotor flux of the machines, and when the grid is disturbed or has a harmonics, they cannot work very well. So in our laboratory, we propose a new and improved predictive direct power control, which does not need any rotor flux position. Uh, so without any disposition, we could work in the weak grids, like microgrids, and when the voltage are disturbed, can work very well. So the results are in here. We change, we do that. The, we put the algorithm in a real system, and we have the experimental results. We change the speed of the machines near the synchronous speed, upper synchronous speed, and the result shows that also the the current can be sinusoidal and work very well. Both of the converters, grid side converters and the rotor side converters, uh, the results are very great comparing to the other uh, works. So we think about that maybe if the, we have a fault tolerant uh, happens in our system or one of the switches has been broken, uh, does it gonna work the predictive control or not? So we simulated and uh, also we implemented our system for a four switch three phase system. The result shows us that it, cannot, it can follow the reference, power reference of the uh, machines and the grid. So the rotor, the rotor current and the stator current and the grid stator current can inject a sinusoidal current to the grid. So for the conclusion, I can say that the, this work that we have done uh, has a very fast dynamic response, fixed switching, uh, fixed, uh, fixed switching frequency, and it can work very well during the disturbances of the grid. So that's all. Thank you. All.